Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odoo technical developer having experience of 3.5 years. If you haven't subscribed our channel, please click the uh, subscribe button and click the bell icon to get the updates of upcoming videos. In the previous video, we have added computer generation field uh, on the Odoo form view and also insert the Odoo models. Uh, through a custom adder so for example this is the uh, product or template order model and we have added a char field uh, inside this model and then we have inherited the you know, product form view and we added the computer generation field in this video we are going to add uh, two more fields uh, inside the form view and also we will add these uh, fields uh, in, in on the tree view of this um, products so what we will do we will just first add uh, these fields inside the model and then we will inherit uh, the tree view and the form view and we will add the fields on, on the tree view and form view. Like for example if i want to buy this uh, laptop and uh, i want to see uh, the uh, uh, warranty start date and warranty end date. Uh, so I will uh, add here uh, like warranty start date is equal to fields dot date. So we want to add the date, so we will specify that as uh, type as date string equal to warranty start and then we will to we will add another field warranty and date fields is equal to date and string you can add any label warranty and so I have added this field uh, in the model like here and then uh, what I will do I will add uh, this field before the internal reference how you can um, inherit the uh, form you are any view in the Udo what do I have to do every view in Udo have a unique external ID. So using that external ID, you can inherit that view and add uh, and customize the view. For this purpose, what you have to do, you have to turn on the debug mode. How you can add turn on the debug mode? You have two options. Either you can turn it on from the settings, or you can just add here a uh, um, question mark and then debug and then equal to sign one then hash and then enter so uh, in this way you can turn on the debug mode also so after uh, after uh, enter into the debug mode you will see this uh, icon so clicking if i am on the form view and then click on the uh, this uh, icon and then we want to check the external id of this form view so you will have to click on edit view form so here i can see all the information related to this form view so view name view type etc and the most important thing is this external id so the external id for each view is unique the first thing is product dot product is the module name that this view is located inside the product module and a product template only form you is the view uh, id how you can find it just copy uh, this id uh, leaving the product uh, id as uh, don't copy the product dot and copy it after the product dot and then go to the py charm and then uh, open the add-ins directory double click it and then search for product module so we have here a, a project and then we have a product module and then open it so 
is this is the form view so it will are uh, located inside the views uh, directory so right click here and then find in path click find in path so and then enter the view you are searching for so you will add uh, easily you will be able to find this view easily so just double click it and then uh, this view is open for you so i would recommend that whenever you uh, inherit anything or any view just copy this view and then paste it here as uh, we have already done in the past video and then uh, do the required modification like you will have to change the view id and then uh, the view name also uh, and just uh, add the proper inherited id like which uh, view you are going to inherit so as we have already done this in the previous video so i will just copy this field and then i will edit before the internal reference so what i will do uh, the internal reference technical field technical name is default code so i will add the uh, field name is equal to default code default code and position will specify that where i want to add it i whether i want to add it before the default code or after the default code i will just add before the default code field name is equal to uh when it started and close field name is equal to uh the second field name is warranty ended for example if i made any mistake here like i add a, a wrong mm, field name so while upgrading the module i will got an error let's restart the server and then uh, go to the module go to odoo apps and then uh, search for the module name and then upgrade it so while upgrading we will got an error message that uh, the field does not exist like something like that so we can see that field warranty and date one does not exist so we have added uh, a wrong field name so you from the error you can see that where this error is uh, a view we have added this view so you we have to search for this view that where the error is inside this module control f and then control v so you can see that the problem is inside this view so i will just change the field name and if i uh, make any change inside the view uh like xml files i don't need to restart the servers only i will have to restart the server in case i made any change inside the python file so i will just click the upgrade again and then it will uh, upgrade it successfully so i got another error uh, message so let's just check what uh, the issue is and where it is uh, invalid view product template so let me just check where this view is located just copy it and uh, search for it Control f so i can see this is a view and uh, what is the problem in this view like i have added this new code uh field name is equal to field name so i have made a, a spelling mistake it is name so let me just upgrade uh this module again and uh, uh hopefully this will uh work fine this time so it has been upgraded successfully and uh, just go to the sales module and then uh, the product menu and then search for the uh, laptop sorry laptop. so as we uh, so we can see that uh, two fields warranty start and warranty aid has been added before uh, the internal reference uh, the position has been defined here and in the first uh, 
case yesterday we have added position after this means that we want to edit after the uh, after the default code there is a third uh, position attribute which means replace so if we use replace it will replace the existing field for example let me show you replace it and then uh, upgrade the module so uh, it uh, what it will do it will replace it will remove this one and i will add these two fields uh, at the at the at its place so let's just show you and go to the product menu and then uh, oh, laptop search for laptop product and then so you can see that uh, the internal reference field is now there no more here this means that it, uh, we have replaced that field with it so we don't want to replace it we want to use uh, the before attribute so let me just upgrade uh, it again so what we have done we have added the um, these two fields inside the uh, form you so let me just add some data inside this field uh, to check what is the uh, format of this field so let me just search for the laptop laptop and you can just see it so click the edit button to add something so if you click if you click this uh, field we have a uh, uh, a date wizard will open up to enter the date so the start date is first june uh, 2020 and end date will be uh, like one year after today so it will be um, first june uh, 2021 so we have added it here and click save so this is uh, the date field format now in the uh, what I would suggest, uh, I have added this field in the uh, farm. You you just need to pass this video for some time and add these three fields. <coughs> these three fields uh, inside the tree view. I hope uh, so. You have uh, tried to add the, these three fields uh, uh, inside the tree view, but if you uh, could not able to add. Uh, in the tree view don't worry i will uh, add it now so first of all what you have to do you have to find the uh, external xml id of this um tree, this tree view tree view or list we can say list your tree view so click the debug icon and then uh, it, click edit view list so if we click a wizard will open up which shows all the information related to this tree view so we have to copy this and then search it uh, inside the product module so we can see that uh, this this view is located inside the product module so we can easily find it inside the product module so go to the product module and then the view directly and then uh, the shortcut used for uh, this find in path is control shift f so you can just uh, use control shift f to search for it and then paste it so here it is uh, this is the t view of uh, the products so what i will recommend just copy uh, this up to this and then paste it inside our uh, xml file the xml file we have added here is like this one this xml file so we will paste it here and just format it properly and then close the field take and then close the record it so we have just uh, copied it uh, exactly same it is and we will modify it accordingly so we want to modify this od sales and then we need to change the name also od sales and um, the 
template the model will remain the same because uh, this tree view is uh, belong belong to the same model and then we will add the inherit id field like this one so i will just edit manually field name is equal to inherit id and reference so and close it so what we will edit we will add the id of the uh, the external id of this view because we want to inherit this view and we want to add the fields inside this view so we will copy this external id and we will add it here so after that uh, we have uh, inherited the view now we want to add the fields where we want to add the fields we want to add the fields uh, like for example after uh, uh, internal reference so the internal reference field name is uh, default code so i will just go here and check uh, it is default code so field uh, we will follow the same way as we have done for farm view default code uh, position is after so we will add the same two fields like i will just copy it from here and then i will paste it here so i don't need to restart uh, the server because um, I just um, added some modification inside that uh, XML file. So I will just uh, upgrade the module. So go here and then click the apps menu and then search for the app we want to upgrade and then click the upgrade button. So once we, uh, if we have added everything correctly, then we will successfully will be able to um, upgrade the module and then uh, you can see the changes here like if i search for laptop so you can see the warranty started and handed has been added here so thank you guys for watching this video please like this video and share with your friends and also subscribe to our channel